and I'm trying to clarify in my head which department, when you say the phone section, it doesn't paint an, uh, a great picture like, you know, physically or, or administratively where you are, but you, you're in the phone department. Oh, help desk. Because uh, I spoke to a Mrs. Mark earlier. Um, okay, so you're saying that the file was sent to Barnet and it's being transferred back. Okay, so, so Barnett said to me it was in transit to them somewhere. Okay, so you agree with that. But that's an error or mistake or something. Uh -huh. So, okay, so where is my file this minute, do you know? No, I don't. Okay. What I'm going to have to do is mm -hmm. Right. Get them to look into this. Because I spoke to a Mr. Jill in Barnet and and he says it's in mark like it's on its way to Barnet, but yeah. for such it's electronically it's been transferred over. Yeah. Okay, that means all your computer stuff is uh, it's gone electronically. I understand, yeah. But we haven't we don't know where the file is yet. You don't. If I was to tell you that this is the third time they're losing files for me, which is costing me hundreds of thousands of pounds and a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, you know, I've lost a case for £93,000 because uh, between Barnet and Central London, yeah. they lost the file. And uh, then when I appealed on my case, the judge said I took too long when I it was out of my... And on this case, the judgment was entered because the, the, the judge said... I didn't file a defence when I, when I dropped the, the, the defence of by hand in Barnet Court, and it just goes on and on and on and on. And now we I have a warrant for the possession of my house, and Bar okay. Barnet says they have no knowledge about this appeal. Okay. okay. How, how, how did you send the? You know how I send the document into Central London? Yeah. put an appeal in and I came down to Central London and did it by hand and got a receipt okay, yes. on a compliment slip. Yes, okay. Can you, can you email it in? Email what? The application. Do you think, have you got a copy of your application? Um, it, I probably do because um, we had originally put an application for an oral hearing. And then we subsequently put an application for a full appeal based on new evidence. Okay. So it was in two bids. Um, and I came down there myself. Now, what I can do is uh, urgently try and get this message ASAP if you can do that. Well, what I need to be done more, more important, if uh, you can do this at all, is to... Um, Suspend the warrant that they got because of this error. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Well, that's what is I'm having going against me because of all these lost. I never once again, but once I get the application, I can, it is to suspend the warrant, isn't it? If it takes to suspend the warrant, no, it was to, to set aside the judgment. Set aside the judgment? Yeah. Because they're getting a warrant based on a judgment which was based on the fact that I didn't have a defense because. The, the court lost my defence in the well, that I dropped off in the box, and now my case is being lost again. And Barnett is issuing a warrant when I've got my full up. He's just going against me all the way here. I mean, this is my, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I have a very vulnerable family. I'm self-employed. You know, I got. Thank you very much. Appreciate any help I can get. But I mean, this is just. 
We're talking from May the 21st and today is the 12th of June. No notification. Yeah, I, I understand that, but if you can give me that application and then what I can do personally is just try and walk it down to a judge. Ah. Today. But what, what are we going to do about this warrant in the meantime? But sure you can send an email down to Barnet because I spoke to the gentleman they call Mr. Jill and what I said to him is he keeps saying everything is with Central London and Central London keeps saying it's with you. So I said, can I just get him on a conference call and we can talk three ways. Uh, I don't understand why everybody in, in, the, in the world of business and, and personal life is doing conference calls. That's how you solve, solve problems out in the modern days. Why can't you do it? So there is a rule that says you can't have a conference call within another court to sort out the problem? No, there's, there's no setup like that. There's no setup. There's no setup. You just press the button on your phone and it, it links up. No, it doesn't press the button on the phone. I'm trying to help you. I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help because I thought if you can talk to the guy in Barnet. I, I don't mind waiting. The problem is, you know, what's happening in the meantime. I'm at a tremendous disadvantage. Okay, I, I, you know, I'm going around to say, I'm just trying to ask you if you could reset it in quickly today. I've been trying to look at the judge. I'm asking the urgent and explain to the judge what's been happening in this case. Nothing could be doing without the application. What's your, um, e what email address? How fast can you do it? Uh, you know, because it's in two bits. Um, and maybe three because we have also uh, it's a big file you know I don't know if the judge can do it in five seconds like that but I can give it to you but you know we have a uh, the transcript from the court from the last hearing which is that alone is how, how many pages quite a 40. few pages like 40 pages and then we have the actual you know it's quite a lot of pay I don't even know if my email box but then we got to scan it all up into the scanner one page at a time um, I'm, I'm surprised you, you don't have a copy on your computer or anything. No. Oh my God! Have you ever been repossessed from your house before? I can imagine how you feel. I got a baby with three holes in his heart, and I got all these mistakes. It's just we, we hardly have time to sleep, and we keep getting mistakes from the court that is causing me time stress, and the bank is acting like. Uh, have you got a 